guys, it's Sarah here today and welcome to Grassroots Evolution. Welcome again to my new subscribers. It's wonderful to have you. So if you are new to my channel, feel free to check it out. Uh, I do believe that time is fluid and a lot of the energy that I pick up on, it's what I'm picking up in those days or those weeks and those time periods, but it doesn't mean that it may not resonate with you months down the line. Um, I'm hearing guided five months, okay? There may be something from five months if for any of you watching today um, that may also resonate. It's just what I'm hearing, okay? Uh, so I am doing this intuitively. I will be channeling uh, Archangel Michael and Archangel Metatron, just asking them to guard and guide this reading, as well as protect myself, this reading, as well as any of you who would ask for it. And just know that if you ever want their guidance in your life, or your, your guides, or your team of light, all you have to do is ask. They're here for us, okay? So I am also going to ask my team of light to join me. And what I'd like to do is um, just suggest that if where I got cut off being asked to do this was that uh, if you're new to my channel check it out check other stuff out you know just there's a lot of um, kind of different content I guess is what I'm saying on this channel as well as if you're new and you um, at the end of this video you like what you see feel free to hit subscribe I'd love to have you you know all right so I'm being guided today to bring you a daily message for December 20th 2018 but like I was saying again time is fluid so this is when I'm picking the energy up it may be something that you've already experienced it may be something that's coming in to your conscious awareness or it could be something that we can kind of avoid altogether just by how we exercise our active free will and the choices we make and the steps we take in this world okay because that's at the end of the day no matter what I say it's up to how how you want to go forward in this okay so I'm just gonna take a minute here we're gonna shuffle I'm using the again I was asked to pull in the zombie tarot for this um, I've just seen the fool while I was shuffling so maybe it's time to take a calculated leap of faith my friends okay thank you so, as I was saying, a calculated leap of faith, we have the Ace of Wands here with the Eight of Wands. And the Ace of Wands is about a fleshy, passionate, um, meaty, you know, endeavor, something that's going to bring us passion. And they're pointing this way. And what are they pointing at? This is the Eight of Wands, which is sometimes known as this quick communication. She's dancing. It's fun. I do want to read to you the definition of the Eight of Wands from the zombie tarot little booklet this 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 um this deck of cards is pretty awesome i'm just going to say so the eight of wands so this is travel expansion on the move faster than you can say well most anything, since you've lost your tongue, you've been presented with a new opportunity. Travel is imminent, so choose a path to stagger along and enjoy the occasional human morsel as you go. If you take charge, others will follow your lead. Trust your inner zombie and roll with it. Good news is coming. Brace yourself for awesome. So where some of us would say, ah! be scared she's coming after you well this is the zombie drill this is about this zombie and new opportunities are right there right in front of her this is quick she's about to get this the bone she's holding on to doesn't have any meat on it this one does okay so what I'm hearing is cycles um, if there's cycles where things have been going very slow for you that's about to, to change because whatever new endeavor whatever path you're guided to go whatever this um, fool energy was that I saw it's asking you to go in a way that is really going to nurture your soul is what I'm hearing bottom of the deck we've got the nine of pentacles so this is something that could have been a long time you want to get out of this feeling that is stagnant here okay is what I'm just guided to say so if you've been feeling stagnant uh, maybe it's time to choose a new direction okay take that leap of faith wholeheartedly without disdain is some of the words I'm hearing so I'm not sure if that made um, resonated with anyone but the card that I pulled at the top of the deck here's the start card so there is success in this new endeavor there is something passionate starting here and at the bottom of the deck we have the three of cups the ace of swords <laughs> and the six of cups with uh, the seven of wands which is a lot about competition and the two of hazards a choice we have I'm just being guided to keep pulling I'm gonna keep pulling guys um, the eight of swords so getting out of 
entrapment, okay? We think about a rib cage, and what does a rib cage do? A rib cage in this protects our, our vital organs, our stomach, our spleen, our heart, you know, our liver, all of the good things in there, the juicy stuff that zombies really like to eat. Well, if you can see here, guys, there's a cage over there. Um, the Empress is the last one, and this is really nurturing and being loving and the mother of the universe, getting in touch with our own feminine sides and being able to express the needs that we have in our emotional body is some of what I'm hearing here. So, Whatever um, situation this is that's bringing you the Ace of Wands, this could be from someone that you, you have known before, or this could also be finding that love and passion and drive within your own life, in your own direction, in your own branches as well, okay? Because um, I'm hearing, I like to use the Guardian Tarot by Beth Sillinen, and for her, the wands are... Um, well, they're trees, but for their, their branches, okay? So if we think about the ways that we can go, this is also wands. Where we want to put our passion, well, in this case, it's just one thing pointing to. It's right around the corner. And that success and healing and being able to show that medal of bravery and honor proudly um, is also yours. So if you can take a look here, and she's the empress, but she's got her hand up, stop, as in protection for this little zombie girl who is hers. This is unconditional love and nurturing um, and being able to stand your ground and your convictions with love, okay? Um, Nonviolent, peaceful kind of protest as well as what I'm hearing. But this also, to be able to do this, makes us get out of these cycles of mental entrapment because the rib cage, yes, it does hold those vital 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 meaty organs but it's also a cage don't get trapped in there okay it's one of the things i'm hearing make a decision with the two of wands and it was in the reverse so it's like you know or the sorry the two of hazards not the two of wands needing to make a decision without the cruelty and feeling like of the competition is what i'm hearing i am also hearing that there could have been a situation for you or you were involved with maybe where that is part of the cruelty and mental entrapment is feeling, paying attention to too much competition, too much of what other people are coming at you and just feeling like, you know, you're, you're beating everyone off with a stick. Um, make a choice to get out of that mentality. This idea of competition mode even is some of the things that it took me a long time to work through um, in my own personal development along this journey as well, um, is that you know, one of the things that really I feel stops us from enjoying our connections as they are with people is this idea of always being in competition instead of working together, right? We're one under the same sky in the same universe, so let's work together. So this um, Three of Cups, Ace of Swords, and Six of Cups, it's a brand new beginning. And there is a lot to say that this is divinely guided to me with the Empress and the Star. Um, what I'm saying is that whatever situation, if there's something as I'm talking that resonates with you, go for it wholeheartedly. Give it all you've got because it does bring this happiness and fulfillment of the Three of Cups. If you can see their differences don't matter. The smile on the face, it's pure, pure joy in this situation. And it comes with a brand new mindset. This could be, again, be communication with the Eight of Wands and the Ace of uh, Swords here because swords are mental space, but in clarity within our thoughts as well as our vocal cords, you could be experiencing that. If you do have communication with someone from your past or if this is a newfound love for yourself, two, twofold, one, be wary of you know the, the self-talk that you're allowing to come through. Make sure it's always going to be a love and bring you this three of cups, this fulfillment, and always nurture yourself and stand up for your loved ones. Um, even when things get dark because you know that's the kind of stuff it takes warriors to, to win this medal of honor, to get that healing, to reach for the star and know it's within our grasp. So that is what I have for you today, guys. I am actually being asked one more time to bring in an Earth Magic Oracle. So for any of you, if you've resonated with that one extra little tidbit of advice, so clearing, but this is the Earth Magic uh, Oracle by Stephen Farmer. And this really does help us get in tune with what our... Um, what we can do in our physical reality, 
how how we can use the elements, how we can use our magic in our own worlds, okay? So it does have a book as well, I suggest. You can always check it out. So one thing that has fallen here is the Desert and Vision Quest. And a few readings ago, I don't believe it who it was for, but um, in the Animal Wisdom Tarot, the Seeker of Branches is a camel in the desert. So a lot of times I'm hearing peyote. You hear some people go on the desert quest and they get the relevations. If you're into shamanic work at all, which the Earth Magic booklet would help you um, work towards that. You can also search shamanic meditations, um, but this is really honoring the lower and the upper world, and we're sort of somewhere in the middle, being able to ask our spirit guides, both within, you know, the, the higher realms and the lower world. Uh, if this is resonating for you, if not, you should check it out, um, because the bottom of the deck is brand new beginnings, okay? I've got submerged, and the last card I'm going to bring is DNA. So maybe it's time for you even just to go into some meditative, quiet contemplation. Listen to your thoughts. You know, what, what is spirit saying to you? Um, there's sometimes if you don't know what you need to ask, I like to uh, ask for, you could ask for Archangel Michael guidance. Um, maybe intense, but definitely for your highest good and to help you get on your path. I know myself, in some of my dark